Since we started in 2002, we grew from a very small class of about eight full-time students to now over 160 students. Full-time, part-time, master's and PhD program. What I found interesting about this particular program was that the core classes were at a minimum and our, the actual specialization that we wanted to do was left up to us. So we could really explore several different areas and that really helped me in my career. And I actually felt like if I was going to go back to school, because of the time and energy investment, I really wanted it to make a difference in my career. So I was actually looking for something that was going to be a little bit more technical. I would say that this is a great um, kind of bridge program or transitionary program if, if you're a, you know, a technical professional looking to learn more business acumen or cross over to the business side or build that background. This is definitely a great program to do that. Almost every person that I came across, you know, each of the faculty and the peers were so intense and involved. It was a very dynamic environment. A lot of discussion going on about the very current events and what's happening in an industry. What I think is really unique about our program is how flexible our program is for professionals. And our curriculum is designed so that students going through the program can take what they're learning in our classroom and then apply it on the job. I have a, a role where I have to travel pretty much one or two weeks um, every month. And so, you know, the fact that Carnegie Mellon provides the capability to attend class remotely has been uh, really, really helpful. The faculty here at Carnegie Mellon is extremely high quality. They all come from great backgrounds and have such extensive experience, either with industry or with research or in their own fields. And um, that it's an amazing resource to be able to learn from and to work with. You're being taught by someone who has actually encountered the same types of problems that you're trying to solve for, um, the same types of goals that you're setting with your projects. It's, you, you feel like you have an experienced coworker working alongside you almost. I love working with my students. That's the most satisfying part, the interactions, talking about issues they have at work, talking about issues they have on their team, and coaching them on how to solve those problems. The students work in teams and they actually have the professor meet with them on a weekly basis generally. So they get very close, almost one-on-one -on -one coaching from the faculty member. And so you get to practice in a safe setting uh, what it's like to actually negotiate with your peers, take different roles, make sure that everybody in the team is accountable. It's been fantastic to have full-time students on campus and one of the things that those students are able to do in addition to having these small classes is that they also in some cases have the opportunity to be research assistants. It was great to be able to have the opportunity to do research while being a full-time student because not only was I able to learn all of these amazing concepts in class, design decisions, etc., but then I was also able to apply them to a real-world project and to, to my research and to the research assistantship. I think there's a community here and if it wasn't for this program I can't say that I would have been introduced and exposed to a lot of the individuals that I've met here. Uh, I think there, there's a tremendous amount of networking value in being a part of the alumni community of Carnegie Mellon. I don't even feel like I'm in school, I feel like I'm in some kind of a support group for entrepreneurs that, you know, just everybody is so excited about what I'm doing and so it just feels really moving. The, the, the whole program was so transformative that I actually, through the course, decided to leave my job at Sun Microsystems, uh, where I was at for 20 years, and start my own software company. Being from Carnegie Mellon, it helps a lot to start your own company because you already have the Carnegie Mellon name behind you. The good thing about being out here is that if you have an idea, you can go ahead and make a prototype, get some other people on board who are interested in the same idea, develop it a little more, and get some funding, and turn it into a small startup. There are expectations of Carnegie Mellon grads that we in the industry have. You know, we know um, in the technical programs they've really been uh, pushed uh, very hard uh, to be excellent. Since I joined the program, I uh, got promoted to run a fairly sizable engineering organization with about 120 people. And um, I would have been totally overwhelmed had I not enrolled in the program. 